Hello all, welcome to part 5 of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course. In this video, we will look at post exploitation kung fu. <clears throat> so, this video is part of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course and certification. Uh, if you're interested, please have a look at securitytube.net slash SMFE for more details on how to enroll for this certification. Our certifications are currently taken by students from over 30 plus countries around the world. And this video, uh, which is a part of our SMFE program, is made available free of charge uh, in the direction of Security Tube's vision to provide quality yet free infosec education for one and all. So if you like the video and you would like to take a certification to further your career, then please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE, else all videos on Security Tube will or ever be free of charge. Okay, so in the previous video, we saw how we broke into a computer and then how we had the Metapreter shell access on it with which we could do a lot of interesting things. Now in this video, let's explore uh, what one can do post exploitation. So all we will take up in this is understanding the victim better. After that, privilege escalation, deleting logs and killing modern software, collecting data, uh, backdoors, rootkits, pivoting, etc. will be seen in other videos. So let's take up understanding the victim better. Now <clears throat> let's move on to the VM. So this is our victim machine which is running on 192.168.1.100 and here is the attacker machine which is basically 1.10. So let's exploit the remote machine first. This is similar to what we did in the previous video. So there you go. Done. Now, once you're on the remote machine, the first thing you need to do is type in sysinfo to understand the remote system better, right? So this says this is Windows XP OS, Service Pack 3, architecture is x86, and a bunch of other things, including the fact that this is the English version of Windows XP. Then you can actually do a get UID to figure out who you have broken in as. In this case, it's great news. We are system because we actually compromise a system service. Now, in order to figure out your process ID, you can actually do a get PID, and this is the current <coughs> process ID of the process in which we are currently running, which is 1372. You could do a quick PS to actually locate uh, 1372 as the SVC host.exe program. Right? Now, one of the other interesting things which you may want to know is whether the current user is still actively interacting with the system, right? Why? Because if he is, then maybe he could notice something fishy. Now, in order to figure that out, hit idle time. And if you notice, this says the user has been idle for around 1 minute and 40 seconds, which isn't much. You know, maybe he's reading a web page or something like that, right? But this gives you some indication on uh, whether the user is actively interacting with the computer. Now, one of the other interesting things you would want to know is if you're running if the victim is running in a virtualized environment or is it running on actual real hardware. To do that, we actually run a post exploitation script, a metapreter script called check VM. In order to run metapreter scripts, you need to use the run command prefix to it. And if you notice the output is sun virtual box is what is being used as the virtualization mechanism, right? Now, there are tons of metal product scripts. If you just do run and hit tab twice, you'd see there are tons of possibilities. We'll take up a couple of them. 
uh, during our videos but you're free to explore the others now one of the important points I wanted to bring your attention to is initially we had metaprinter scripts uh, which were post exploitation scripts which could leverage the metaprinter APIs later on what the metasploit team decided was to have one unified way to actually write modules in metasploit and hence converted the metaprinter scripts into post exploitation modules please note from a functionality perspective they remain the same however it is just the way in which you write them so uh, what you would find is a lot of scripts uh, which you basically have run probably just pure metaprinter scripts are also available as post exploitation scripts right post exploitation scripts have the word post uh, prefixed in their path <clears throat> so as an example let me show you something interesting so the same get check vm can also be run as run a post exploitation script basically does the exact same thing All right there you go oops specified run twice All right same functionality just kind of wrapped around in a module way <clears throat> now apart from this you would also probably want to know about your environment you can do this by running the get environment metaprinter script and this gives you a lot of info about the operating system <clears throat> family the number of processors and a bunch of other interesting information if you're curious about the IP address or whether there are multiple adapters IP config would give you that you could dump the routing tables with the route command this would give you some example about how the subnet uh, has been configured and whether there are you know multiple gateways and things like that in the network uh, one of the other interesting things is when you break onto a system you would also be interested in knowing the applications which are running on them so any installed application apart from the kind of Microsoft utilities which ship with the OS uh, <coughs> would typically be available when you run get application list so if you notice we can clearly see AVG which is an AV is installed the 2012 version uh, Microsoft Visual C++ and Oracle VirtualBox is also installed on the remote system right now if you want to gather a lot of info about the remote system at one shot let's say you want to download the registry the password hashes tokens and a bunch of things you can actually run something called scraper <clears throat> All right. so this gets a lot of interesting information about the remote system dumps all of that locally uh, inside the directory so the directory in which you could find all the info where scraper is dumping all this data currently is in .msf4 logs scripts you need to go into scraper and then depending on when this was created here you go right now this is currently still dumping a lot of interesting information uh, while it is still dumping this in the background which is downloading the registry keys and all of that stuff you could start navigating and looking at all this interesting information as an example the hashes <clears throat> have been downloaded for the different accounts the environment which is what we actually dumped using get env is also available in a new file tons of other things right so basically what this does is quickly automates the whole process of getting information about the remote system locally so that you could probably later on do an offline analysis on all of this Another tool which kind of overlaps a little bit with the functionality of Scraper 
is winenum. <clears throat> this also gets a ton of information by running different windows uh, utilities and commands on the system uh, <clears throat> giving you things like you know whether the firewall is up bunch of stuff right so for example firewall show config all of this and similar to scraper this stores it in a directory uh, based on the date during which the compromise happened right and you could find a ton of stuff so for example task list SVC gives you a list of all the tasks running on the remote system <coughs> categorized by the services which started those tasks right so these scripts are a bit heavy duty at times as you would notice and they do take some amount of time to run because in turn they call a lot of other smaller scripts and commands and all of that but together with scraper win and um, and you can explore other options you would actually find a ton of interesting info which can be downloaded right <clears throat> so i just hit a control c so that we can you know speed through this there you go so uh, here is a bunch of info which i showed you how you could gather about the remote system you can try out other metapreter scripts and figure out other interesting things as an example uh, this one gathers Firefox credentials this one is FileZilla credentials uh, a lot of interesting information to be frank right and as you saw there are around 170 plus metapreter scripts so it's probably difficult to go through each one of them uh, I've gone through the one which are the most important or stuff which I kind of use most often uh, so this is something which you can look at, play around with more scripts. At times you may find a lot of hidden gems uh, which are actually there in these Metal Predator scripts. So try them out. And this is all I had in mind for this video. This video is part of the SMFE uh, course and certification. Please have a look at securitytube.net slash SMFE for more details. Uh, thank you very much. In the next video, we will look at post-exploitation privilege escalation. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.